This is the Doji S40 Pro, a military-grade smartphone that can withstand drops, water, and even extreme temperatures. And it can do all of that while maintaining a very low price point. But the question is, who is this phone built for? And should you be worried by its rather beefy exterior? Let's find out, shall we? Hello everybody, my name is Robert and this is Review Clue. But of course, before we get into today's video, if this is the first time that you're seeing my face on your screen, then one, lucky you, and two, go down there, hit that subscribe button, smash that bell notification icon so you get notified every time I upload. But without further ado, let's get right on with today's video and take a look at the Doji S40 Pro. Let's go. I've got the mineral orange version of the S40 Pro here, and just by looking at this phone, you can tell that it is built ruggedly. But this ruggedness does come at a price, weighing in at a whopping 246 grams, and being two times as thick as a normal smartphone. The back panel, top and bottom bezels, and all four corners are wrapped in rubber, and these orange accents, which really helps with the drop protection, but also gives the phone a little bit of colour and design that I personally love. The left and the right bezels are metal. The screen is called in Gorilla Glass. And if you're worried about scratches, this phone does have a screen protector built into it when you ship this thing, so you shouldn't have to worry too much about scratches and drop resistance. The phone feels very sturdy in the hand, but certainly not too big. It feels weighty, and this just adds to the overall build quality and feel of the phone. This means that it is not only drop and dust proof, but also waterproof. This phone is rated at an IP68 waterproof, and it can withstand temperatures between minus 55 and 70 degrees Celsius. It also has that 810G military certification. I don't know when you would need this kind of certification, but it's there and it's nice to see it. So it's very clear to me that this phone is built for people with a rugged lifestyle or work style, particularly in jobs such as constructions, where accidents can happen. In terms of design for everyday use, I feel like it's not massively necessary. As you'll see as this video progresses, I personally think that for the everyday user, you're better off going with a different phone and maybe buying a rugged case. But we'll touch back on that point at the end of this video. Since this is a smartphone, let's talk specs. This thing comes with a MediaTek Helios P22 CPU. It's not a massively powerful CPU, and it shows. Navigating the OS and even using applications, there is noticeable slowdown, particularly when swapping apps. And in 2021, I just feel like that's not acceptable, especially in a smartphone in this caliber. Even for £120, I would expect more here. In its defense, the CPU can help to maintain a much better battery life than most other phones, purely because it's underpowered and not using as much juice. So we have that 4,650 milliamp hour battery, and it'll last you a good two days before it will need charging, thanks to that lower power CPU and GPU built in. Also one of the other large factors for this battery life increase is that screen. It is just 720p, and it's very clear to me at this point that this was not designed for media consumption. Although the 5.45 inch IPS display does lead to some pretty good viewing angles and is big enough to view content without it feeling too unwieldy. There is a 3.5mm headphone jack on this, which is nice to see, but it recedes into the phone quite heavily because of that protective outer casing. To the point where I struggled to find headphones that would fit into the recess, and it made it very hard to use the headphone jack accordingly. The rear-mounted fingerprint sensor is certainly not the fastest thing I've ever seen, but I do like the placement and the accuracy of it. We also have a card slot for two nano sims, or one nano sim and one TF card, meaning this phone is great for a secondary work device or even a travel device due to that dual sim capability. It also has a custom button on the left hand side, and this can be one pressed or long pressed for different actions. It is worth noting that though this is nice, during the setup process, if you accidentally press that button, you are stuck. You're stuck inside this weird menu and you can't get back to your setup. You have to physically hard reset the phone to get it back into that setup process. Not a great first impression, though I did find the bottom rather useful, especially when in the camera it can be used as a shutter. The phone's rear cameras is composed of a 13 megapixel main sensor and a 2 megapixel sensor as well. That front facing camera is just 5 megapixels. And quite honestly, for a rugged device, I wasn't expecting a lot from these cameras. But 
I feel like the word acceptable is enough for this. The words barely enough come to mind when talking about these cameras. The back images are not very sharp, there's not much detail at all, but colour reproduction seems okay. On that front facing camera though, there is a lot of image processing going on to the point that it's actually quite scary. Even disabling beauty mode, you still get a far too smooth of an image and there's still some beautification going on there, particularly with the eyes. Unfortunately, this phone can only charge at 10 watts and that's all you get in the box as a charger as well. It's really disappointing to not see 18 watt charging by default as many other manufacturers are doing. And more to that, we still have a micro USB cable here, not USB-C. And especially if you're in an outdoor environment or you're at work, one less cable to carry around is super duper useful. Having that micro USB moved over to USB-C would be massively beneficial. This phone also has a couple of really useful software built-in features, such as a magnifier, a protractor, a plumb bob, and even a height measurement tool that uses the visual difference um, principle to measure the height of a building. It's probably not massively accurate, but it has a handy feature nonetheless. And I think this is where it cements in my mind truly who the target audience is for this phone. It's outdoor workers who demand a phone that can communicate in any kind of environment. It's nice to see a couple of extra little features here and there, especially in that software that can help aid with the work that they do. But for the everyday person, this phone is simply unnecessary. I can't recommend this phone to a wider audience because of that charging speed, because of the underpowered nature of it. You are much better spending it maybe a little bit more money on something from Xiaomi or Poco and getting a much more rounded device. And if you need that ruggedability, grab a case. So these cases are getting better and better and cheaper and cheaper by the day. So it really does feel unnecessary for a phone to have it built in. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, let me know in the comments section down below and like, share with your friends. And I hope to catch you in the next one. Adios. A rubbish phone speaker is ruining your party. What about listening to your favorite podcast while washing? Uh oh, you broke your phone. Well, you need the Clue Mini speaker. With its fun and funky lights, you're guaranteed to be the life of the party. Don't you just hate being in those business meetings and your laptop audio just not quite cutting it? Well, you need Clue Speaker to amplify your meeting experience. This mini speaker is the only speaker on the market personally endorsed by Review Clue himself, and he knows his audio. With the simple and elegant design, the Clue Mini speaker looks great and sounds even better in any room of the house. Yes, even the bathroom. Struggling to carry those massive wireless speakers around? Well, the Clue Speaker is just 7 centimeters in size and weighs just 136 grams. That's right, just 136! So now great audio can go wherever you do. The beach, the park, even the office. Connect any device through Bluetooth, wire, and even SD card. Yes, your record player can have the Clue experience. Make the best decision for your family and get them a mini speaker. Even your pets will love it. Our wireless speakers cost hundreds of pounds, and who has the money for that? I certainly don't. That is why the Clue Speaker is just $14.99. That is right, just $14.99. That's crazy value. But what's more, we're offering free shipping. Yes, you heard me right, free UK shipping. So what the hell are you waiting for? Get to Clue.World right now and buy your mini speaker and take great sound wherever you go.